what is that? Vast, great, big door frame. Uh, I wouldn't have imagined that tonight I would be holding a carrot to control a horse around. So that's alright, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Well, all I can say is, yeah, yeah, gonna be, you gotta be part of it. Just, just come and have a look, see what madness it is, uh, and then keep a lookout for how it progresses. Hello, everybody. My name's Croy VR. I'm a virtual reality streamer on Twitch. I'm from Scotland, and I've been streaming 100% virtual reality content on my channel for about a year and a half, or a little bit more. I stream indie games. I stream AAA games. I stream games from Viveport, from HIO. I stream games on Steam and games which have their own launchers. I really enjoy finding indie games that just give me that extra little bit of a surprise. Something that I'm not expecting. Something that's a little bit unusual, a bit different. Particularly something that has mayhem and chaos as its MO. <laughs> so yeah, I really enjoyed the first playthrough I had of Mayhem on a Rainbow. It gave me a, a laugh. It gave me some fun. It gave me a bit of incredulity amidst a very tiring and exhausting time uh, generally in the world. And uh, I played about, yeah, I played a fair bit of, I played a fair bit of the wave shooter. It's just fun to come in and blow the heads off zombies. It's not a challenging and difficult game at the early levels and it ramps up. It's not like something that's going to really appeal to those that love guns and, and go to bed with them. Uh, it's fun. It's a fun game. Um, and it allows for some fun, mindless chaos, which is great. But what we're looking at in today, tonight, this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are in the world, is is not the is not the tutorial and is not the shooting. But we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to have a look at at some of the other features of this game. And bear in mind, I've not done any of this yet. So this is completely new to me. And because it's completely new to me, I get to give you the reaction of somebody who finds a game that's just completely nuts and then plays it. Um, and I'll give you I'll give you my impressions. I will give you my impressions. There I am, over there, a beta tester, Croy VR, and some other excellent names to be seen from the VR community and testing. So yeah, I'm using an index. Uh, I've set all the settings up to absolute max, just to see how it goes. I have a 3090, I've got a 5950X, 16 core, 64 gigabyte pros, uh, RAM and processor in my system with a M2 SSD running at a reasonable speed. So I've, I'll push it as far as I can. OBS is running to record this as well. Um, and, and yeah, it's just, it's just, the whole thing, uh, the whole thing is completely nuts. Where else would you find uh, um, uh, an ant sitting on a classic car bonnet in a beach looking at the sunset? Um, so, right, here we go. We are being told to mount the horse. I have a carrot. The Dismount. Um... You, dear player, thank you so much for giving a chance to this demo. I hope you had fun and we will see each other in Haven again. Is that it? Is that all I get? I get to ride into the sea. Uh, <laughs> and that's how it goes. Um, let's, try, let's try this again. There we go. So we move the carrot. The carrot is the joystick. Do I have any weapons? I've got a feeling those swords might have been quite useful, actually. Let me let me go back and see if I can grab them. Grab those swords just out of here. Like... 
Ah, I see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The horse is a little bit out of control. I am able to run over the zombies with the horse, right. Okay. The horse is not easy to control. Um, but is that not like real life? To the uninitiated horse owner? Meh, I'm on a rainbow. Right, let's go and see if my computer can hold up with these full frame, full max graphics. Um, yeah, I played the shooting wave shooter for this and had a lot of fun just, just getting headshots in, clearing it with air drops. Hello. Are you speaking? Not speaking. Can we? Can a horse reverse? No. No reverse in the pony. 3D assets. Various assets. So this is the credit scene. Aha. Dearest thanks. Oh, baby Kuro. There you go. I too have a small member of my family who loves to play video games. He doesn't get to do much virtual reality, however. I know he would enjoy this very much. This is a lovely place of exploration. Nice and chill. I'm normally when I'm playing VR on my Twitch channel, I am playing open world games. And I do enjoy playing games that are basically are the non-linear games. Um, so this is a bit of fun, isn't it? But it's a nice way, it's a very nice way to present the end credits of a game. And I absolutely love that giant construction over there, hovering above the sea. Um, yes, yes, what, what, what a, a, the finest of fine credits. The credits themselves are part of the world that we walk about in. Can't really complain at that. That's not. That's all right. That is. Jump. Go up. Up the up the slope. Go on. Stretch. Stretch. Move. It, it decides that maybe that slope is a bit too much for its hooves. Okay. Um. I wouldn't have imagined that tonight I would be holding a carrot to control a horse around a, a beach front that really looks like it's seen better days. So I guess at the end of the game, once we've been through all the levels or we just want to see the credits, this is what we get. So that's alright, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So um, all the zombies, they're all they are all kind of mostly the same size, but there are, there are a variety of different models. Um, the ragdolls are one of the things that really adds to the chaos. That's the that's the rolling credits. You got that first. So beautiful skies and the sunset. I don't think the sun is setting, so I don't think it will actually get dark. It looks fairly baked in over there. Um, but yeah, well done, GG. Good horse. Well played. You've been great. Thank you. Um, there's a bit of movement there. Not it's not interacting with my hand or anything. I don't think. Oh, he's walking. Oh, he's got a bit of life. Look at that. Yeah. Are you actually... Am I actually... And I don't think... I think it's just on a... Is it on a loop? Is it going to do the same thing again? There you go. Nice horse. Nice horse. There you are. Scratch your cheek a bit. Yeah, don't kick me or bite me. I'll leave you... I'll leave you alone now. Good horse. Right, that's it. That's the... That's the credits. Let's jump back now. So we're back in the lobby um, of sorts. Uh, dear player, thank you very much for the demo. Right, we're not done yet. Um, these are the weapons that we can choose that have unlocked. Um, these are the start games, weapon loadout. So we did the tutorial. Um, we've done the wave shooter. We could do break saber. Let's have a look at break saber. I can only imagine... <laughs> I can only imagine. Right. I mean... Is this also... Gonna be... I mean, if you look, if you think about it... Like all the beat rhythm games are kind of like are kind of like wave shooters, aren't they? How do we start the game? Oh. Oh wow. Oh yeah. What would you not have anticipated from a game like 
Mayhem on a rainbow. Whoa. Here we go. I love it. I mean, it's not going to last you for a long time, is it? I'm sure. But if there are... If nothing else, they're, they're fun to be had after a hard day at the office when you just want to get in front of your keyboard and computer in the office, you're filing papers that you haven't cleared from your in-tray and just sweep it all off out of your cubicle, then no, you can be saved from that. You can come home and you can play the Mayhem on a Rainbow. Wow! Just, just scream a little bit. Go, go embrace the madness. Become the madness. The, the ragdoll in is, is just supreme. It really is. There we go. Kills. Mm. Wow. It's nuts. That's what it is. And it's great. Um, it's just... It's just total, it's total carnage. Um, what more can we say, really? This is how it goes. This is this is your day, guys. You've um, you've been for a five-mile jog and you need a cool down. You've just been at the gym and you think that maybe you've got a little bit extra carb energy to burn off after your big plate of spaghetti pasta. You know? I mean, I'm not going to judge. Look at me. I don't know, dad bod extraordinaire. That's fine. So yeah, if you're going for this, then you are going to have to have quite a lot of um. Suspense of disbelief. If you are someone who enjoys being highly critical of everything in front because you've been around for a very long time and you think you've seen it all, and you probably have, you might have to just rethink that when you play this game. And if you have watched all of the stream fest, um, then you probably have seen quite a lot of it, but here we go. It's just a fun, ridiculous anarchy with nonsense at its core. Chaos breeding chaos. There we go. Right, so that is um, uh, as good as pretty much any rhythm game that, that I'm going to comment on. So, yeah, why not? Um, it feels good. That's the thing. Everything feels... In its own chaotic way, it feels very polished. Um, so we've done, we've done that, we've done that. Um, we can have a look at um, the last taxi. So I assume the idea is once the game's released that these are going to be consecutive levels, maybe that you have to work through. I don't know, but the demo is very generous, and there's a lot to a lot to try here. Um, here we go. This is our personal assistant, our friend, our. I don't know why, she seems very familiar sometimes when she talks to us, so she obviously knows us, um, but she's not seeing anything at this point, so we'll skip. So we can't kill the yellow goats, but we can get on our horse. Okay. Oh, here we go, this text. Welcome to the Gates of Haven. This level is going to be part of the story missions. It is very much work in progress at the moment, but wanted to include it in the demo already for the sake of some horse riding. Mount the horse by clicking on the mount text and dismount by clicking on the dismount text. Smiley face. You can control her by moving the carrot in front of you. With the left trigger, you can gallop. I would recommend trying it seated first if you have a sensitive stomach. Don't forget to follow the goats. Okay, so, I mean, to be fair, it was actually immediately obvious that in the credit scene um, that I could pick the carrot and, and control the horse. Um, so... Let's see if I can maintain a gallop down this hill. So I mentioned I liked open world games. Um, one of the last, oh, one of the last AAA games on flat screen that I played to any sort of sensible level of completion was Death Stranding. Um, and I play a lot of open world games. So, it, it, I mean, if the idea here is to have some sort of vast procedural space exploration then I'm here for it. What is that? 
vast, great, big door frame. Uh, yeah, I mean, it hasn't got a door, but it's in better nick than the door frame around this room's exit. Anyway, that's for sure. Um, yeah, look at that. Okay, and there's a planet over there. And we've got some nice mountains with snow in them, so clearly it gets cold at night. We must be quite high up. Um, yeah. Uh-huh. Gee, let's go. Ah, now we're, now we're galloping. Right, there we are. Across the plains of this alien planet. Or maybe it's a moon. It's only got giant door frames anyway. And, and yeah, look at it. Look at it. Isn't it, isn't it nice? Again, I've got the graphics cranked right up to full. Everything is set to max. Um, and it's not looking too bad so far. It's, it's holding my machine is starting to heat up. I don't have my fan on just now. Nice drumming. Here we go. Dum, 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 dum. Oh yeah. So yeah, here we go. Um, I run a I run a stream on Fridays on my channel on Twitch uh, called Arcade Friday, where I pick up a game that's got the kind of action that you can play, like the old days, where you had a coin and you put it in the slot, and the slot gave you a game, and you played until you lost all your lives, and you hopefully, hopefully, got your score at least three initials on top of the table, so that the next people to come along would see your name. Uh, and you would have bask of basking in glory uh, to to be able to maintain that leader lead as other people jumped up. So there's a bit of there's a bit of competition, um, but there's also more importantly there's a bit of arcade sensibility. But they are talking about the devs are talking about having a story mode, which will be com completely insane. I am sure. Here we go. Right, so we did something. We achieved the first level. Again, the graphics, the textures are good. The draw distance is fine. Um, the door frame is typically like chaotic just to see something. Travelling to space flight. Enjoy a relaxing space flight. I, I, somehow, I somehow doubt this. Why, why, am, why am I a little bit apprehensive about exactly how much relaxing is going to be done in this, in this demo, in this trip? Um, but still, we've got um, we've got Hotas right here, um, and I and I do play. <laughs> it sounds like a motorbike. Brilliant, excellent. It sounds like it sounds like a, 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 a outboard motor from a boat. Yeah, there we go. We're in a seaplane that's managed to somehow survive in the cold, inky blackness of space. That's all right, isn't it? Have we got a boost? We have boost. Yes. Do we have guns? We have guns! I hope there's no zombies out here. There seems to... Can we destroy the... There we go. Okay, I, I mean, it's it's actually... Incoming call! Answer! It's a chicken. It's our friend. Our person. Our robot AI... Uh, personal assistant. I don't know what the relationship is between this, um, so I will just skip it because there's no voice there just now. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, <laughs> why does it sound like I should be going through the, the, inner, the inland waters of a Scottish loch somewhere? Just not too far out to sea, just on the, just on the insides of the water. Maybe Shipping some tourists around uh, to take them to the other side where the pub is, um, and then I'll pick them up again. I'll pick them up again at 4:30, uh, and um, and take them back home to get their bus uh, back to their hotel in Edinburgh. I don't know. I mean, I get, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I mean, we're not going to win any awards uh, with space combat here. Um, you know, but it, it, it's, it's functional. Um, yeah, okay, so, so, so can I crash it into a planet maybe? Let's try that. Oh, these planets are really close. <laughs> they're not far away, they're just really small. Excellent, okay. 
<laughs> Not in demo yet. Okay, so at some point we might be able to land on the planet. Uh, you know, I mean, No Man's Sky started from pretty, uh, pretty basic foundations, didn't it? Um, it was a chill space exploration game when it started. Uh, it, it, it took itself a little bit more seriously. Mayhem on a rainbow. Did we get rainbows in space? I, I don't know. Um, so, there are some very credible um, small elements of this game. Uh, how it all ties together, I don't know. Will it be a credible game at the end of it when they all tie together? I don't know. I don't know what Lumi Finley's got in mind for this whole game. I just think it's going to be worth checking out, that's all, because it's completely nuts. And we need a little bit of whimsy and a little bit of chaos in our lives sometimes. Can't always be serious. So there you go, guys, that is, uh, I think, did we do all of them or do we have one more? Let's have a celebration. Let's see what the party is. Celebrate with us the demo release. Celebrate with us. Theme fest. What a way to end. What a way to end. Bit of dad dancing. Who doesn't like to end on a bit of dad dancing? Come on, zombies. Let's go. I think that I think that's it guys. That's uh That's it. Let's shoot up the guests. No, they're impervious. Brilliant. Well, all I can say is yeah, yeah, gonna be you gotta be part of it. Just just come and have a look. See what madness it is. Uh and then keep a lookout for how it progresses. Uh, and at the end of it it's gonna be a glorious ride. Have a good one everybody.